born prematurely and with a heart defect, the odds were stacked against one-year-old Caleb Fritz of Cannonsburg. But in his short life, he has proven when the stakes are high, bet on them. Chris Hoffman shares Caleb's story of hope as we get ready for the 68th annual KDKA UPMC Children's Hospital Free Care Fund Benefit Show. As you drive across the Bloomfield Bridge, you'll see one-year-old Caleb Fritz on a billboard with UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh sitting on the hill behind it. Much of his first year was spent there. It's terrifying to have a heart defect, let alone hypoplastic left heart. It means half of his heart doesn't work. His parents, Carly and Patrick, learned while she was 20 weeks pregnant that he would be born with the condition. Everything totally changed. The, the outlook really changed once we talked to Dr. Morell and his and the team at Children's. Caleb was born five weeks premature, and for the next seven months, Children's was his home. He had his first open heart surgery at eight days old, second at three months, and third at six months. Between his first and second surgeries, he had four strokes. I would say every surgery we thought, this is, this is it, um, we're not gonna make it. But doctors at UPMC Children's were confident Caleb was going to pull through. It's not if we'll figure out what's going on, it's when we'll figure it out. His first holiday season was spent at the hospital. I think our older son, uh, Owen, was just at the age where he was starting to understand Christmas and, you know, everybody being together. So I think it was really difficult for him and really hard on him. Healthcare staff became family. They sent gifts to Owen and put up a tree in Caleb's room. They offered meals to the family and provided a shoulder to lean on. At the time, it seemed little, but like those things, the, so those, that kind of support for families um, cannot really be measured. Then May 18th of this year, Caleb finally went home. Every day is pretty terrifying. Um, but, you know, he has overcome so much and he's doing amazing. His parents credit the doctors at UPMC Children's for making the transition to home life easy. I think what's amazing is we were more prepared than we expected because the team at Children's like allowed us to be so involved in his care from day one. But Caleb still has a fight ahead of him. He still has to be fed with the help of a machine and he'll need another surgery in the next few years. But compared to this time last year, he's already climbed mountains. We made it through and, you know, like I said, we take it day by day. We don't know what the future has to hold, but we're very fortunate to be here. In just a few weeks, Caleb will celebrate his first Christmas at home. To be able to wake up on Christmas morning this year and not have to, you know, rush to open gifts. <laughs> Do you want presents? <laughs> um, to not have to like rush to open gifts with Owen and then run out the door. To be able to have the whole family together this year, I think is probably gonna be pretty emotional. And hopefully the first of many more. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. Oh, I just wanna give him a big hug. Caleb and countless other children are alive today because of the care they received at UPMC Children's Hospital. And the free care fund at Children's has helped so many over the years. So please help us keep that fund going. You can donate now by scanning the QR code on your screen or going to kdka.com slash free care fund. But if you wait until Thursday to donate, you can donate from four until 8 p.m your donation will be doubled. Please join us then for the 68th annual KDKA Children's Hospital Free Care Fund Benefit Show. We hope to see you.